underneath the Aroda Bridge, there's a creature that took over the neighborhood. There's almost nothing that says Seattle better than the Fremont Troll. It's funky, it's surprising, it's a little anti-establishment. It's actually the perfect emblem of the city the way it used to be, which is a little bit different, a little bit non-corporate. It's this like really funky, cool public art piece, weird and fun. The Troll was born in 1990, a creation of four artists. Steve Badanes was one of them. Now a professor of UW. Just after the Fremont Troll, we started here. I got this job at the University of Washington and I felt like students could build community projects. The story of the Troll competition was that the Fremont Arts Council decided to do something under the Aurora Bridge. They had an open competition and I entered with a couple of my students. We went ahead and built the model and then the community actually voted on which one to build at the Fremont Fair. Same model that now is in the care of the crew of Mohai. Well, the model looks a lot like the Troll, but it's a lot smaller. It's made out of paper mache and it's, you know, got all kinds of cool stuff in it. It's now part of Seattle history. The Troll design was a success. We actually won. We won by a six to one vote, and then we had to figure out how to build it. We built it in three months. Was it fun? It was really a lot of fun. You know, we really didn't know what a troll looked like. We knew that they lived under bridges. We figured, you know, wherever we didn't know anatomy, we just slugged on a little bit more hair. One of the things that I took away from a conversation with him was how part of the shape of the troll was based on the shape of his nose. It's taken from this one here. <laughs> he looked at the troll one, so. But the nose of the troll is not the only fun fact. Have you noticed the car? Do you know that the car that is in his hands is actually a Volkswagen Beetle? And also, back in the old days, they used to have a Californian license plate. Don't know why. Well, the inside of the Volkswagen is a time capsule. There was a rumor that Kurt Cobain's ashes were in the, in the glove compartment. If you're wondering how tall is the Fremont Troll? It's 18 feet. Even the quirkiest idea can bring delight, enjoyment to a whole bunch of people. It's an image of the city. Fremont Troll is the most thing that I've built that made the most people happy.